All right, let's roll out these apple pie crusts and uh, start assembling the pie so we can get it in the oven. I'm going to take my rolling pin and first I'm going to tap pretty forcefully on the pie crust and I'll rotate the crust every once in a while. That kind of flattens out the bottom, it gets it in a uniform shape and it starts the rounding process off on the right foot. I'll do a little, uh, little flour on the cutting board. I like to use a nice wooden surface or a cutting board so that the pie crust doesn't stick to any cracks in the uh, tile or something like that if you're using that. So you want to make sure that there's enough flour that the crust is not going to stick to your rolling pin. And when I'm rolling it out, I'm just really rolling in the center third of the pie crust, just right here, just right there. And I roll it and then I rotate and I roll it and I rotate. If I start to see the crust getting out of shape, I'm going to stop for a second and I just sort of use my hands to reshape it. I want to make sure it's in a nice circle. If you get a crack, don't worry about it. You know, we can, we can fill that crack once it goes into the pie pan. Um, but just keep rolling in the center third of the crust and rotating. It's looking pretty good. I can feel it. It's got a nice round uh, flat feel to it. It's the right size. Okay, I'm going to do this quickly, but it's really easy. You can do this without a problem. Everything's a little bit covered with flour. I'm going to start rolling it up on my pin. And it goes over. There's two layers under there. And then just put the crust on the edge of the cake, uh, the edge of the pie pan, and then roll it out. And once you've done this a couple times, you can be a lot more confident in it. So I'm not going to trim anything off of this right now. This one's ready to go. I'm just going to roll it over a little bit. I'm going to make sure that the crust is tucked into the corners of every part of the pan, and I'm going to set that aside. This second one, I'm going to repeat the same process. This will be the top of the pie. I've got that nice, ready to go. This one has started to melt a little bit in the time that I was rolling out that first pie. So I want to work quickly. If it starts to really get soft and warm, stick it back in the refrigerator, go take a break, check your emails, whatever you got to do. I've got a crack in the middle right there. Again, don't let that stress you out. I'm going to fix that in one second, but I'm just about where I want to be in terms of the diameter of the crust. I'm going to re-round it a little bit here, but it's looking pretty good here. I'm pretty happy with this, the way it's looking. See that crust came together. If you make homemade pie crust and someone complains that there's a crack on the top of your pie, you can kick them out or just not give them a piece of pie. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to roll it up. I'm going to roll it out right here on my cookie sheet. And now I'm going to stick both of these in the, in the fridge for a few minutes so they can firm up just a little bit while I assemble all the ingredients and get ready to put that pie in the oven. <music>